Proof of Art is the first major museum exhibition on the history of NFTs. Our curatorial thesis with that history takes a long view. So even though NFTs themselves are actually only a few years old, the early works that informed what NFTs would become and would inform the role that NFTs play chart back decades to the very beginning of computer art and up through video art and early digital art. Working on a project on a topic that is rather new has its own unique challenges. So for example, how do you exhibit something that is only on the blockchain? Or which contracts do you need? Whom do you have to ask? Some of the things we had to find out ourselves or we had to ask people to help us. And so it's both challenging but very rewarding actually. Our cinematographical approach was to design the exhibition like an old master's painting exhibition to count the newness of the phenomenon and the various types of media and presenting them in like old-fashioned manner to give them the standing, the canonical meaning we think many of these artworks presented here have to have. This exhibition is taking place in two realities. The first is obviously here in the physical exhibition at the Francisco Carolinum, and the other aspect is in the metaverse on CryptoVoxels. In CryptoVoxels, you can go look at the art the way you would in a normal exhibition. Of course, it looks a little bit different than you might be uh, accustomed to seeing in, in a museum context. But you can also do some really cool, uniquely digital things like fly. So you can find yourself engaging with the art in different ways. And it was really important to us to bring this experience of digital art in a museum context because this is how it was natively created. And in many ways, it's how it's meant to be displayed. So the way we thought about this history is we broke it up into four loose chapters um, that are roughly chronological. The first chapter is called Known Origins. And as the name might imply, it charts all the way back to the early threads that would ultimately bring us to NFTs. So that's looking back to artists who were experimenting with computer art, digital art, early video art, um, and all the way through the sort of introduction of blockchain technology with the Bitcoin white paper in 2008. Chapter two is called Decentralization and Tokenization. Uh, and it was during this time that artists really began to grapple with the creative potential of blockchain technology, which had been introduced in 2008. So it's during this era that you see artists playing with the mythologies and different ideas and ideals um, of different um, people and thinkers in the blockchain ecosystem. Uh, you see artists playing with the potential of autonomous systems and what that might mean in artistic practice. It's during this era that I feel like crypto art and digital artists really step into that possibility. Chapter 3 is called Recentralization. And this was an era when NFT-backed collectibles and decentralized exchanges came into the public eye. And the ripple effects into the art world were massive because now there were global gathering places for digital artists who were outside of the establishment, outside of the academy, many times self-taught, to find a community, build a collector base, and participate in an art ecosystem in a way that they never had. The final chapter is called the metaverse, and the metaverse is a term that was coined in 1992 by Neil Stevenson in his book Snow Crash, and since then it's often been thought of as it's used there, as a virtual world that you enter through VR headsets um, where you can work, play, socialize, etc. In practice, many aspects of the metaverse are emerging, but it's not emerging in quite the same way as, as was conceptualized almost 30 years ago. Instead, it's coming to us through our smartphones and tablets, through augmented reality filters on social media, through um, video game worlds like Roblox and Fortnite. And 
What's really exciting about the artists who are engaging with these concepts is that they're giving us a vision for what this future physical, virtual, human machine world will look and feel like. Proof of Art is open now and it runs through September 15th.